My name is Aunt Leanne, and tonight's theme is masks. So that means that I get to share with you the story that I did this spring for the very first ever National Storytelling Network Virtual Story Slam. And guess what? I came in first. Please enjoy watching A Real Mask by Aunt Leanne. Um. I also uh, was thinking about this subject and, and had a story bubble up, but it was from a long time ago, a really long time ago when I was a kid. The whole point of a disguise is that nobody should recognize you. You should be able to be somebody else. I looked up at my mom and I said, please, can I get a real costume? We were in Neisner, so it was the small discount store on the island that I grew up on. If you wanted to go somewhere that was uh, for Christmas or for, um, for something like that, you could go to Niagara Falls or Buffalo to the mall. But for day-to-day, -day, you could go to Neisner's. It was our discount store, and they had every year Halloween costumes that came in boxes. Leanne why would I spend money on a costume when we have that big box full of dress up clothes? Just a little imagination and you could have a much better costume. Oh, please, mom, please. I want a real costume. I had spent the time in the store walking up and down looking at the, the box with the monster on it or the cowgirl or the Cinderella princess. She was tall and thin, and she had blonde hair and blue eyes. I just knew that if I could get that costume, nobody would ever know who I was. Please? Well, how much money do you have in your sucrets box? Oh, my sucrets box. Every time my brother and I found a coin, if it was a penny, he would give it to me, and, and we would say, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm socially secure, just like Daffy Duck, and put it in the secrets box. And when I had enough, I could buy a book. Um, $1.92. Well, if you spend the whole $1.92, I'll put in the rest. <sighs> Wonderful. So we bought the Cinderella Princess with the blonde hair. I couldn't wait. This year, when we went trick-or-treating and we rang the doorbell, Mrs. Peters wouldn't look down at me and say, Oh, hi, Leanne. What are you supposed to be? This year, Mrs. Edwards wouldn't say, Oh, Leanne. She was from England. Oh, Leanne, you look darling. <laughs> this year, I would really get to be somebody else. Well, Halloween came and it snowed. So instead of the pretty blue dress, I had to put my big snow coat on top of that and the scarf and the mittens. But uh, at least I would have the mask, the blonde hair, the crown, the blue eyes. I put the rubber band over my face and one of the eyes was cut wrong. So I could only see out of this one. and. Um, the nostrils only had enough space for me to breathe if I sniffed. I started to get sweaty right away. Let's go out trick-or-treating. Ding dong. Oh, hi, Leanne. What are you supposed to be? I couldn't believe it. How had she known who I was through that mask? We went to Mrs. Edwards. Oh, Leanne, don't you look darling. No, I don't. I can't breathe, and I'm sweaty. As we walked on, I, I lifted up the mask a little bit, and it tore all the way along the cheek and flopped, and I spent the rest of that Halloween more miserable and sweaty inside that mask than I had ever spent before. Well, we got home, and I took off my costume and my mask, and I wish I could tell you that that was the last time I ever got or wanted a mask to hide who I really was. It wasn't, but it was the last time that I spent my own money on a real costume. <laughs>